Hi, I'm Dom. I'm the event director for the Smart Cybersecurity Summit. Um, I am here today with uh, Richard Boussier. He is the head of operational technology Asia Pacific for Tenable. Richard's going to be speaking at the Smart Cybersecurity Summit on the 20th of May at Marina Bay Sands. Um, we're all really excited for it. And um, Richard's going to give us a brief overview on what he's going to be talking about. Uh, the topic is called uh, Mapping Security Frameworks for Critical Assets, um, covering Singapore CCOP. Hi, Richard. Hi. Um, I wonder, could you give us a brief overview of what CCP, CCOP covers and um, what you feel is the kind of most important for building cybersecurity resilience? Right, so CCOP is essentially a framework, an all-encompassing umbrella framework for operational technology environments within the critical infrastructures as defined by the CCA in Singapore. Uh, it effectively get, prescribes or describes uh, policies, procedures, and techniques that organizations should have in place in order to protect their critical infrastructures, uh, primarily operational technology infrastructures such as water, power, uh, mass transportation, and so on. These things that our daily lives are very, uh, very dependent on. So CCOP it gives a framework of, of how to do that. And the talk is really going to be about how to take the CCOP and map other security frameworks to it possibly even using NIST as, as one of the uh, methods to do that. So, the, the, I think the entire framework is important to, to building cybersecurity resilience, but I think the first step in being resilient is really having a very good inventory of the complete set of assets that exist in your, in your operational technology environment, both operational technology specific assets, as well as the information technology assets that are co-resident in those environments. You need a complete inventory, and to date, very few operators really know their entire infrastructure, all the assets that are there, and how those assets are interconnected, and how they communicate. So I think probably the most important thing to getting a grip on securing your operational technology infrastructure is knowing what's there and knowing its state. And only then can you start to take affirmative action to improve the security position of these infrastructures. Until you have that, you're really kind of not really very far along at all. So, Richard, um, what do you feel is uh, at the moment like the biggest threat um, for uh, companies at the moment in cybersecurity here in Singapore? Um, be good to hear your thoughts on that. I think overall the biggest threat is, I hate to say it, it's, it's, it's ignorance and apathy of not knowing the full risk exposure that you have and not being proactive in terms of taking appropriate security measures. And this is, I won't say that operational technology operators are apathetic, but I will say that they lack a lot of, um, a lot of security experience as opposed to people who operate IT environments. You, people who operate IT environments have been hardening those environments for 30 years. And it's only fairly recently that operational technology environments need to consider the interaction as we start to have ITOD convergence, these networks are being exposed to, or to, to risk they were never exposed to. And operational technology people need to understand these risks a little bit better. I think that's one of the uh, key things. I would classify that actually as education. Right. Probably right. one of the most important things. So Richard, really great hearing your thoughts on you know, what's the other threats at the moment here in Singapore um, you know, going forward. Um, obviously, the, this Smart Cybersecurity Summit is going to be the first face-to-face -face, um, event for the Singapore IT security community in over a calendar year. Um, obviously, people have been working you know, behind their screens and doing a lot of virtual events. Um, what are you most uh, looking forward to at this year's event? You know, it would be really good to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, the thing I'm most looking forward to is real human intervention instead of inter interaction through a pane of glass, right? Um, uh, a little human intervention, uh, human interaction, uh, uh, you can tell more about the person, more about what they're really concerned with through just the, the, the subconscious cues that people give out and through real world interaction and talking to people face to face. It's a lot more, uh, I think, effective than, than doing everything virtually. And I think the whole planet is pretty much at a point where they've kind of had a limit of how much virtual they can actually take. So I'm really looking forward to the interaction I'm going to have at this particular event, the human interaction. 
I'm also looking forward to delivering the talk because I think the talk is going to be very informative and very useful to those who are responsible for ensuring the safety and security of all this that we have. Richard, thank you very much for giving us um, your thoughts on um, you know, what's, what you're looking forward to and, and a real snippet of what you're going to be discussing. Um, really thank you for your time and uh, looking forward to seeing you um, at the event in a few weeks' time. I'm looking forward to being in action. Excellent. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Cheers.